And not only that, Allah made it a beautiful relationship where you don't hate each other. People can do business and they hate their business partner. People can do business and they feel nothing for the people they're dealing with. But with the marriage, Allah blessed us. This is why we go back to the ayah from his signs that he put in their heart this love, this mercy, this closeness, this closeness. Unlike anything else that you will ever have in your life. Inshallah, it will be a decision that you will never regret. You will never look back and think, I wish I never did this. If, if, if Allah blesses you in this marriage, it will. Yes, it's the face of Top Fury and Rajah to enrage you once again. These people at this wedding, are they aware that amongst them sitting there is a convicted terrorist who was convicted for inviting support for the so-called Islamic State, aka ISIS, in Syria, alongside his lieutenant, Anjum Chowdhury? Are they aware that this person, until today, has not come out to condemn his support for the so-called Islamic State and all of their ex actions in totality? Are they aware that his lieutenant, one of his greatest friends, only recently went down for 28 years for directing a terrorist organization? Are they aware that his best friend, Siddhartha Dar, Jihadi Sid, as they call him, smuggled his small little children into a war zone on a coach and he then executed people on behalf of ISIS. I'm not going to leave you alone until you outright condemn Daesh. Until you condemn them, you are one of them as far as I'm concerned. And you can call me a troll, you can call me a liar. I only state facts. And you say you didn't do tahakum. Even with a bachelor's in Islam, he doesn't realize that he's playing chess. And he doesn't realize he's been checkmated. It doesn't matter to me whether you did tahakum or not. What I exposed is that you're still a Khariji like Abu Umar al Kuwaiti, and you have the view of Tahakum the same as him, the Hazimi dog that he is. You have been in and out thoroughly exposed. And shall I tell you why the police are harassing you day and night, taking you into police stations all night? Because they're trying to wear you down. Until you get to the stage, you miss one of these appointments and you go right back to prison. Why? Because they know, and I know, and we know that you are a Daeshi Khadiji. And until you come out and expose to the world that you condemn the actions of ISIS, you are wrong for supporting them. You are wrong for inviting support for them. You are wrong for defending them and being their journalist, being their whitewasher, defending every action, being Al-Adnani's spokesperson. That's who you were. And we're not going to leave you alone. 